Hey YouTube, it's me, Empress E with the T, and I am back with one for the Scorpio. Scorpios, y'all trying to message was love yourself first. First card out is envious. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. And with this uh, yellowish uh, orange color in this card, in this red, it just represents those first three chakras, that base chakra, that second chakra, that third chakra, the root chakra, the sacred chakra, and the solar plexus chakra. The root chakra deals with being balanced, being grounded in your financial uh, status, your health, you know what I'm saying, as well as your emotional health, your mental health, just being grounded, period. The orange represents that um, sacral chakra, which deals with balancing out your emotions. And this is balancing out your emotions when dealing with relationships, as well as dealing with um, sexual relationships, partnerships, and stuff like that. This yellow represents that solar plexus chakra, which deals with your self-confidence and your self-esteem. So, with that being said, it's just love yourself first. Don't envy anybody else's situation. Focus on grounding yourself and becoming grounded all the way around. Becoming grounded not only in your finances, but in your emotions as well as your health. As you manifest, I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody is different. It's time for you to hone in on your own imagination and use your imagination to create what it is that you want to create you know what i'm saying accept responsibility for your well-being and don't blame anybody you know what i'm saying for not having what it is that you need it's time for you to persevere and know that you can do whatever you set your mind to you know it's time for you to go toward what's in your heart what it is that you want speak what it is that you want you know what i'm saying the root chakra it deals with what it is that you have. If you can acknowledge what you have and be grateful for, the universe is going to give you more. You know what I'm saying? The sacred chakra deals with what it is that you want in regards to these relationships and your emotions. The solar plexus chakra, it deals what it is. It deals with what you can do, your motivation, your self-esteem, your self-worth, your self-determination. And then this blue up in here representing that third chakra, what you speak. You know, what energy is you putting out there? Is you speaking negative stuff over your life or are you speaking positive stuff over your, uh, over your life? You know, are you uh, loving yourself? Are you talking positive about yourself or are you are engaging in a bunch of negative self-talk, you know? You could be feeling burned right now. Hone in on your spirituality. Pray. You fall, you feeling burned. Could be feeling burned about a family dynamic, a family situation. Family could be making you feel burdened. You could have some envious family around you. You didn't gain some type of insight to persevere over something. Yep, you went into hermit mode. You thinking about this, you working on this generational abundance. You want to um, give this cup, you want to offer this cup to somebody, but you feeling sad. There's been a change. You want to offer your cup to somebody. That you feel like you can have this abundance with. You could have been sneaky. It could have... Uh, you could have been sneaky and deceptive when it came down to this... Uh, soulmate. Or you could have been dealing with a fire sign that was sneaky and deceptive. A fire sign and an um, air sign. Yeah, they wanted to win at all costs when it came down to this soulmate connection. You didn't got some insight about this. You've been sitting on the offer. You've been holding on to an offer. You ready to celebrate and come in with the truth. You know what I'm saying? You want to come in passionate. You got some words, baby. Okay, Scorpio, 
y'all passionate about somebody. Y'all could be feeling like y'all down on y'all luck right now. Stagnant when it come down to this journey, but y'all ready to take a journey. Y'all ready to send somebody a message. Okay, we got an official person. This could be a police officer. Coming to somebody's house, serving somebody with some papers. We got a gift. We got a family room and we got a wealthy man. So I'm about to change with this wealthy man. He finna mature at this distant horizon and go to court. Okay. Somebody in bed health about this child. And they toiling and laboring. But there's finna be an ending to this privileged lady. Hmm. So I'm about to come out. If this somebody is, I don't know. I don't know if they came in the upright or the reverse, but somebody feeling rejected. I think 13 is the number of transformation. Yep, 13 is the number of transformation. Somebody went through a transformation. Causes okay, that's a lot. Causes somebody to feel rejected. This person could have came toward this person in some sexual energy, and they could have been um, rejected. Okay, this person loved this wealthy man, loved his dirty draws. Okay, but she in this victim consciousness. Okay, about this soulmate. She in this victim consciousness, but I feel like you, Scorpio, y'all yearning for a soulmate. 14. It's patience. This is saying be patient. Because you, you need to sacrifice this motherfucker that's in this victim consciousness real talk. Because they ain't doing nothing but it's a Jezebel spirit putting these uh, sexual demons on that ass. <laughs> sexual energy. All day long. That's all it's about. You going through this transformation. This person is trying to stop your transformation. It's time for you to shine your light. And be loving and compassionate. Okay, for your freedom. You want your freedom. Okay, Scorpio, any more messages? All right, y'all could be in this sexy energy in this new cycle. All right, y'all ready to... Let down the anchor. <laughs> All right. Uh, Y'all might want to get somebody some flowers. Okay. Um. Yeah. In a message. Okay. So it could be some messages of love coming through. You guys could be in this sexual energy. You got this anchor on, anchor on your heart. Right here, deal. We got this anchor right here. So y'all ready to uh y'all determined to lock somebody down. To yeah. Y'all ready to anchor some shit in the ground. Okay, uh Scorpio, that's y'all message. Um love yourself first. Love yourself first because that love you put into yourself is going to draw in this soulmate. Um, communication and co-creation. Communicate clearly. 
like I said, um, whoever this is you're going toward only want the truth. So just come in and communicate with the truth. You never know how things will go. It's time to shine your light. 44, your prayers have been answers, answered with this. Prayers have been heard and the abundance you see is on its way. That's what that 44 stands for. Freedom. We got two and five, which is seven. Seven is the number of spirituality, inner awareness, mastery, wisdom, insight, and success. You already got all this insight. You already got this success. You already know. You just need to come in with the truth. You need to come in with loving and compassion and let this soul may know, you know, what it really is. Don't be in this victim mentality. Uh, come up out of this sexual energy. And this is, could be something that you already did because it's a snake. Right behind her. Leading her right into the darkness. Okay? So, be mindful of that. You know, God's rejection is your protection. You know what I'm saying? God, I mean, rejection is God's way of protecting you. That's what I meant to say. Okay? Things are being discussed in this family room about this gift. You know what I'm saying? There's an official person that's journeying towards you. You just need to be patient. This is a wealthy man. You know what I'm saying? This king of wands, this person was a false twin. Point blank in the period. Now this person is sad because they don't have much to offer. And they didn't gain some enlightenment about this abundance. You know what I'm saying? And you done put your energy back from this um, situation. You know, this person could have been envying the way that you manifest. And this person could have been in that blame energy instead of manifesting themselves and too busy watching you. You know what I'm saying? Persevere over this energy that they throwing your way, making you feel isolated. But you know you ain't never alone, alone because you working with angels. And you being patient as you manifest this success into your life. You know what I'm saying? You love yourself and you see yourself in everyone. You take pride in what it is that you do. Because you able to accept the value in what it is that you have to offer people. You know what I'm saying? Your cup is not empty. You are abundance. You have abundance. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical realm. And you are manifesting your happiness into this physical realm. You manifest the happiness and love. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So this is like love yourself, point to yourself. Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Just commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things and surrender to change. Real talk. And just have the courage to surrender and change. You could be surrender to change you could be dealing with a lot of grief and worry in regards to like people being empathetic towards your the adversity that you're going through the trials and tribulations that you're going through your struggle but this is just saying trust that that struggle is gonna come to an ending but that's all you got to do is show gratitude and open up your heart people fail failure it's 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 God's way of teaching you how to, how to succeed. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Look at these failures are as learning opportunities and don't doubt your potential. You know what I'm saying? Let motherfuckers gonna judge your growth. Let them judge. I understand that everybody has their own unique path and challenges. Let them motherfucking judge. But at the same time, you growing. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. This is what you should all always be on the path to doing. Expanding. Growing. For your freedom. But you got to be disciplined. And you can't regret the decisions that you made. Because the decisions that you made, they, they, they are milestones toward your learning path. Your, your pathway to learning. Your, your pathway through this life. You know, we learning, we learning until the day that we die. 
I don't regret any decision I made because if I don't regret that decision and I can go back and change it, I'm going to change the trajectory of my life. You know what I'm saying? And the connections that I came in contact with. You know, it's time to be honest with yourself about what your purpose really is. And don't be indecisive about drawing in these relationships that serve your highest good. But your self-esteem have to be up to par. And you have to know that you are worthy to draw in these relationships. You are loved, lovable, and loving. And you are deserving of love, Scorpio. That's why you need to love yourself first in order to bring in this balance. And honor your health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrined my soul. Honor your health. Take care of your health. Your health is your wealth. Don't be in denial about what it is that you fearing to bring in your motherfucking peace. Because ain't nobody going to feel guilty for you but you. You know why you throwing this motherfucking pity party for yourself. Motherfuckers gonna be saying that motherfucker need to accept the shit for what it is and see the humor and things. You know what I'm saying? And go be of service and find the right friendships. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. And learn how to forgive people, places, and things. You know what I'm saying? And not take things personal. Because once you start loving yourself the right way, that love that you desire to have is going to gravitate towards you because you're going to be in the right vibration to receive it. All right, Scorpio. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys like the message. This is the Empress E with the T. Thank you guys for listening to me. If you like the message, like, share, and subscribe.